los verán pistear. Una doble P. Bienvenidos a un nuevo video, una nueva reacción. Estamos aquí para reaccionar a esto de Raúl Alejandro. Vamos a ver qué tal está. One thing in my mind that I never had is the, the mentality of something being impossible. You know what I'm saying? There's always a, a way to, to do things, you know? I had like five shows in a month till I got, I have, I was signed with a, with a label. My first check, big check. <laughs> I, I call my mom crying like, mom, I yeah. get it, man. Imagine being a kid from Puerto Rico with the dream to be one of the greatest musicians of all time. Your first love was soccer, hoping to play professional one day until it all came to an end. I had it tough because at the same time, I have to help my family too, pay bills. And I was like, man, I don't know if this is it. You pick up making music at 21 years old as a form of therapy to escape. It was like a good feeling, you know? And mm -hmm. it's always been my escape world. I find like through happiness, through, through what I do. That hobby soon turned into a passion leading you down the path that God had always planned for you. One day I decided, like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do this for real. I think I'm always being a person that uh, when I decide to do something that I like, I, I go for it with no fear. Now, 10 years later, you are celebrated as one of the greatest reggaeton artists of all time, paving the way with a unique sound derived from the core of your culture. Back in the days when I was like, you know, trying to make a hit to, to make a name, it's something that is not in my mind any anymore. But bro, I, I do music from my heart, so I know that's always been my recipe. My name is Vic Blends, and this is a Deep Cut with Raul Alejandro. Thank you to the sponsor of this episode, Get Joy. Stay tuned for more. All right, and All right, mi hermano. What's up, man? Yo, thank you for coming, bro. Welcome to the shop. How are you good? Good. Let's get ready, man. Let's get It's fancy and pretty. <laughs> How do you want to do your haircut? You know, I'm doing like a pretty classic cut, you know, some vintage vibe, some like, you know, zero on the, the size, yep. like a fade, like a mid fade. Nothing on top because I'm believing my hair to grow. For you see a little, what I have is just, you know. Yep, you like the line, the line that you have around? I got a line, yes, it's a cool one. Um, same line, you want the same line? Yeah. Got you, but if you have, you know, if you feel inspired, you can, you know. I'm always down to ideas. <laughs> no more, bro. Ashton. And then I got the the eyebrows, details on the you know, mustache. You know, yep. made mustache. You shave all shave all this on the shape. Shave, shave all inside. Just keep the the chin. The chin, and then the uh, mustache. Mustache. Same way that you have it. Yeah, man. Got you, bro. We got we are in New York City. You know, we got that. Yeah. How do you feel? The old you know the old salsa vibes right now. I mean that mood. You must be good at salsa. A little, man. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm better singing, not dancing, tell us but I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, you know, like practicing now. <laughs> yeah, I gotta learn. I don't know, but I don't think anybody in my family, I don't know if my dad got salsa moves. He might not let me sing. Bro, that's crazy know. that you're Puerto Rican, bro. Yeah, bro, I'm Puerto Rican, and then my mom's from Russia. So that's fine, I'm Puerto bro. Rican, half Russian. That's fine. Escucharon, yeah, Puerto Rican, big. Mm, Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico, yeah. Mi cabrón. <laughs> <laughs> Los puertorriqueños son de los mejores barberos en el mundo. That's right, that's right. How do you feel being in New York now, bro? You live out here. Yeah, man, I move here. Um, you know, I have, uh, my dad is from Brooklyn. And well, your you dad's know, from New York? Yeah, yeah, oh, my wow. dad's from New York. Uh, bo born here and raised, but then he, he moved to the island, you know, again. My grandfathers, they, they moved here, like, back in the days with all the children. So I got cousins, uncles around here in the, the city. There's, fam there's family with you out here. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's a lot of Puerto Ricans here in New York. Um, so we got the Puerto Rican parade. It's crazy, you know? So take me back to growing up in Puerto Rico. What was it like? The island, the island is tough. I'm not going to lie, but I learned a lot, you know? Um, the Puerto Rican culture, the island, this, this the people over there have, um, say, it's a resilience, resiliencia, like resilience, like, it doesn't matter, like, all this bad stuff that happened to you, you always wake up with a, with a smile, you know, with, with, with happiness. So that's something that I learned from my family there and from the, from the island that, you know, that you're always going to come a hurricane, but next, next day, you know, we got held, we got the family. Everything is good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what part of the island are you from specifically? Este, Carolina. 
Carolina. De Carolina, Puerto Rico. Um, crazy kid, you know, playing around the city. Yeah. I was like half in Canoanas. Canoanas is como que, it's like the country area, mm -hmm. close to Carolina. And then Carolina is like, kind of like a small city. Yeah, what was the home dynamic like? You grew up with parents, siblings? I grew up with my, my two parents. Um, they separated when I was like 10 years. Okay. And then I was like half of my life, my childhood was in the, in the in El Campo, country area. And then the other half in the, in the city. And then after 11 years old, I moved to the city. And I, I fue donde aprendí las poca vergüenza, you know what I'm saying? That's like, when you learn the, 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 the bad stuff. <laughs> yeah. But, but you, no, man, it's just, I don't know, bro, I, I had a, I don't complain, man. I appreciate all the sacrifice that my parents did for me and my sister. My first baño de agua caliente, así, fue como 11 years old. My first, like, hot um, water was at 11, man. And it was, it feels amazing, you know, yeah. having a, a, a hot, you know, bath. Um, but as a kid, you don't, you don't see. Yeah, you don't, you don't think of those things. It's just yeah, the way yeah. that you live. Yes, and for you, it's normal. Mm -hmm. You're still happy, you're still like, you know, having food in your belly. For me, that's the mo most important thing. Yeah. Going to school and, you know, playing with your neighborhood. Um, but then you grow up and then you say like, oh shit, man, like, all this did happen and I didn't realize it. Then you start like, appreciate everything that you have. Um, you know, I appreciate the, the sacrifice of your parents. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my dad, he's amazing. He's, he's the one who, who teach me how to play the guitar and, and teach me all the, 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 the US culture musicians, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, but yeah, he's an awesome man. He, he's been doing everything since, since kid. Yeah, did you always have a dream or a vision bigger than the island? Because Puerto Rico is a small place and a lot of people may not know that, but does, do people normally dream of what you could do outside in another country? Usually, like, like in, my, in my growing up, I have a lot of uncles in New York. Mm -hmm. So maybe like one of the dreams was like, oh, maybe I'll go to the city, to the big city, you know, to New York. Mm. But also before music, I was a, a soccer player. Mm. So I was like, you know, pointing to like Spain, you know, Real Madrid, something like that. Yep. It was mostly Florida. Also, there's a lot of Puerto Ricans in Florida and New York. That was like the only thing that came to my mind thinking outside the island, you know? Yeah, what was the dream growing up? Was it was it to be a professional soccer player? That was the dream. I'm not gonna lie. That was the dream, bro. Puerto Rico is like, it's sports or music, either or. Those are the two things you're gonna the do. The two things Rico. like, more, casi todos los muchachos, los chiquitos, like all the kids, it's like, I wanna be a rapper or I wanna be like a, like a famous baseball player or a basketball player or a sportsman, you know? Mm -hmm. And La Olimpiada, and that's it, man. I have music around me all the time. All my family are musicians, but... Yeah, tell me, your, your mom was a vocalist and your dad played. The guitar, guitar. also, he, he had a band also. Uh, when I was young, he had a rock band, but then, like, he had a, a merengue band. Um, and he was he was doing good, man. He but then he had me and my sister. It was like everything changed. But my mom also she's just always been a vocalist at church. Mm -hmm. So I remember me going to the rehearsals of the of the church rehearsals, and then um, you know me playing with instruments all the time, being around musicians. Yeah, so when Ok, este vamos a dejar esa primera partecita. Bueno, hablando un poquito de ah, este. Pues, inicios se puede decir, y inicios. Sí, o sea, de niños y todo, incluso cositas ya de su familia, su papá, sí, su mamá el, y todo lo eso. Del papá, eso nunca lo habíamos escuchado. Exacto. O sea, el papá es de Nueva York. Sí, tal cual. Y, pero volvió. Pero y por volvió. Por eso creció allá. Pau estuvo allá. Ajá. Pero era como que lo que también tenía en cabeza para sí, salir de Puerto también, Rico también. y lo que sea. Pues ahí, era lo que conocía de su familia. Sí, y Cosillas. se mudó, ya está en Nueva York, cositas. No, a ver. A ver, a ver de no, cómo ver. nos vamos enterando. Exacto. Bien, pues nada, eso fue todo por la reacción de hoy. Recuerden suscribirse al canal, dejar sus comentarios, nos siguieron en nuestras redes sociales y ver nuestras otras reacciones y esperen más. Nos vemos. Y así yo poder ver si terminaré cantando en escenario o terminaré volviendo para el barrio.